Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And then I stopped and realised, wait, no, I've become my mother. <laughs> Don't you steal <laughs> I'm stealing everything I want to. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Well, today I am going to bring you some showbiz news about an elder states gay, as well as a little bit of crafty queens. And we even have a game that you can join along with as well. On screen now you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us, the Cud.tv for our website, and on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have commented on our social media posts scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> How do you feel about a Sunday roast? Um, and I don't mean like a spit roast, I mean like oh. meat and veg. Or just somebody saying really mean things to you. Like a Sunday roast. Oh, that kind of, no, I thought like a spit roast. She's like, call me a bitch and pull my hair. Um, <laughs> I don't mind them, I don't have them often, very often. I can't think of the last time I had a Sunday roast. Oh. Yeah. What about carvery? No. No. Dry meat under heat lamps. Mm, I mean, some people like that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of my autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, my life is a piece of dry meat under a heat lamp. No, no, just dry meat under, dry a, heat meat under a heat lamp yeah. by Mike Benino. Yeah. Yeah, I think that has um, a ring to it. Yeah, not right. overly keen. Yeah. Um, but you can get like a massive plate of food. Yeah, you can. But obscene, some people obscene. would say. <laughs> obscene yeah. about. But what you can also do is take it home, as for it to take out. Okay. Yeah, because that's something that, as a family, we used to do. It's like, you know, when money was tight, we used to go out for a carvery. Right. Right. Get a plate bigger than you'd actually want and then take the leftovers home for tea. Oh, okay. Yeah, making the money stretch. See, nowadays they don't let you have obscene amounts. They kind of, like, give you, like, a slice of each and then you've got to eat it and then go back for more. Can't, can't just... That's why you've got a napkin for the side. Okay. Pop it in the napkin, go back. I've eaten that. Mmm, it's delicious. I mean, apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, um... You know, times are tough. Times are tough. Do you ask for a doggy bag when you when you go out for a meal though? If you've got food. No, I never do. Never. You let never it waste. Any food like. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm full. I don't care. I'm eating. <laughs> it's never any food left. Okay. Well, a woman's been disgusted How and shame. appalled when uh, October Car Toby Carvery. Toby Carvery. Toby Carvery. Yeah. Toby Carvery. Yeah. Other Carveries are available. They are. Well, this is a particular one. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, she asked for a, a leftovers to be put in a doggy bag, and so they presented her with what can already be described as a haggis of, of leftovers. Um, so there she's. That's that's what she had left over. Nice. Yeah. Beige, with a touch of green. Lots of bit. There's a lot of food left over there though. Right, and that's how they presented it to her as a takeout. <laughs> well, yeah. Which, I mean, to be fair, I'll, like still, a, I'll, still, I'll still be eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give it. It's like, oh, that doesn't look appealing, is what she was saying. And I went, that still looks delicious. To be to fair, me. even when she'd unwrapped it, it would still look like that. Yeah. There's, n there's nothing, you know. What did she want? Like a tinfoil swan? Well, even a tinfoil swan, it looks like that in the inside. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look, I mean, neither look particularly appealing. Slightly less so wrapped in cling film. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking bubble and squeak, though. Well, you'd mash it all up and turn it into bubble well, and squeak. Well, it's probably half mashed up, isn't it? OK. Yeah. What's that grey stuff there, that brownie grey thing? They look like mushrooms. I don't like it. You don't like mushrooms or you don't like the fact that there's mushrooms? I don't on? like mushrooms and I don't like the fact that there are mushrooms and I also don't like whatever that is. Is that a potato or is a it potato a... potato with, with a, rosemary on it. Is it, is it not a stuffing ball? Well, that might, no, no, stuffing's over here. Oh, OK. See here. Right. Um, so you don't, you don't like mushrooms? No. Oh, I always paid you as such a fun guy. Oh, I hate you. Um, <laughs> I've just said the words, I've always pegged yeah. you as a fun guy. I was like... <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to say about that. I want to know whether you should put in this... I would, right there, probably. That looks like a potato. Kind of mushed into to the, to the thing. <laughs> yeah, what you would do is you would just make a hole and then just suck it out. A straw. <laughs> you stick a straw in it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So I take it she's not going back to Toby, Toby Cole. No, no, she's, she says she's livid. She was hungover. Livid? She's livid that they, they've wasted all that food because she couldn't eat it. Perhaps her, perhaps her eyes were a little bit bigger than her belly. She went over. She had a hangover. That's so not she my went, fault. So she, it's not my fault. I didn't blame you. <laughs> it's not the fault of Terry Carvery. It's not, no, but the way that they packed it is what she's saying. 
Well, get over it. Yeah. Get over it. Or bring a Tupperware container yourself next time. Are you allowed <laughs> to do that? I don't know. I've never tried. I didn't know somebody who once used to go to the chippy on a Friday night and the mum used to send them with the plates mm -hmm. and say, can you put them on the plates? And then yeah. they would put tin foil over the top yeah, yeah. and then she'd take them home. Yeah. Times. Yeah. I'd never got that because you get fewer chips. If you sent, sent you around like we used to, go around the corner for a bag of chips and we used to split it between the four of us. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, but moving on, the, the world is a, a turbulent place. At the it moment. is. There's, there's, there's war and, and disease and pestilence. We're not just talking about your underwear. Um, are, you, are you scared about getting conscripted? Am I, am I scared of getting conscripted? Yeah. So, you know, they go to war and they go, right, we need all, all people to come and fight in the war or... What? All people. So like, All people. Th th there is no chance on <laughs> earth that, that, that any nation is going to want to conscript me into the armed forces. Really? Why? One, I'm 109. <laughs> so I, I, I would uh, the weight of lifting anything would break my brittle ankles and wrists. Okay. <laughs> um, and two, it's just not going to happen. No? No. Okay. Well, this is a list of, of ailments you can use... To say, I can't fight in, in any wars. Have we travelled back in time to, like, the, the First World War? Well, Are we covering the First World War? No, we're talking about just in case Third World War. Oh, out, OK. Because we're in very uncertain times. Are we? So, yeah. Yes. Do you not see the news? Yeah. Do you not a little bit like... Mm. There's not, there will be no need for... Because they'll just press a button and it'll just go boof. And that'll be the end. OK. But, yes, if... Um, Ailments that can get you out. There's, there's some... Limp wrists. Limp wrists is not one. No. Um, being able to carry 50 kilos is one of them. If you're not able to carry 50 kilos, you can't fight in a war. What is 50 kilos? What is that? About... Um, what, what is that equivalent of a thing? So I, I'm 80 kilos. Okay. So like... Like your torso. So no, it's more, more than that. So just like not the top 30, 30 kilos. So like okay. Maybe not that much. I so think in, it's down me. I think in general, if you can get a full weekly shop mm. on your fingers with the carrier bags without having to make a return journey back to the car, you should be able to go in the army. That's more than 50 kilos, though. But that's that's the skill. OK. <laughs> but, yeah, hypertension's one, so you've got high blood pressure, that's it, you're out. Okay, well, I would expect, I would assume that that would be, yeah. yeah. But uh, any history of psychological issues? Again. So that's, that's all millennial, millennials gone. That's every, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like war. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like, we could have no one left to fight in the war. Well, the, yeah. back, in, back in the olden days. Back in the olden days. If you were a little bit light on your loafers, you weren't allowed to be in the army. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things. One of the, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's no barriers to entry now based on that. So it's a positive mm -hmm. news. So if you've not got a bad back, you're going in. <laughs> Just make love, not war. That's what I say. Can't do that with bad back. It helps, though. Does it? Mm. It's not what I've experienced. Agony. Anyway, and if you want to experience the agony of making sweet love to Lee, um, you can always interact with us at the Cut TV on social media. And that brings us to our story of the week. What's with the face? If you want to experience <laughs> the agony of making sweet love to me... Uh, <laughs> I said to Lee. To... Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anyway, um, cosmetic work. Mm -hmm. We've talked about it a lot. We have. We, we have. like to mock people who have <laughs> We're, we're like people making poor decisions, I think. Is the, yeah. mm. um, but there's a lot of things about turkey teeth. Oh, yeah. Right. Whenever I see I just think of, like, that's what you do on Boxing Day. You make teeth out of turkey because you've got so much oh, left. Oh, yes. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> what a crazy family you come from. All sat no, there around not... Christmas and Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> at each other. It's a no, turkey. That's just what happens in my mind. Oh, you don't actually do it. actually do it. Okay. Just when people say, oh, get turkey teeth, I just get Christmas Day. Okay. Mm, what we've got left? Curry, no, teeth. Oh, okay. um, well, one, one gentleman is, is devastated and angry after spending £3,000 and looking like what he says is a shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. Well, yes. that's what they do to put the teeth on. To, to put the veneers on the, yeah. the shave them down. What's happened is though, um, this this young young person is twenty two. Okay. Yeah. You could say he's a baby shark. Do 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 do. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the deep sigh was worth it. Um, went to Turkey, got the veneers done, 
mm. right? Got an infection. Right. Yeah. They came off. Mm -hmm. Right, he's now having to wait to go back to have them read. Go back to Turkey to have more teeth put in. Yeah, to but he's he's walking around looking like a shark. Um, he's a model. So for his livelihood, he takes pictures of himself, and people take pictures of him, and he can't work at the moment. What a shame! Which has brought him to the t edge of tears. Oh, but I mean, is... to be fair, oh, oh sad face. That, how you feel guilty? Don't I you? don't at all. <laughs> Um, um, you know, it feels like the that poor twenty-two-year-old has had his life destroyed and he through his own choice. Yeah, and he's also had lip fillers put in as he well. Has, yeah, he's had, all, he's had other. He's had a lot of stuff <laughs> done there, hasn't he? At twenty-two, do you 20, need no. to do that to yourself? No, no. Um, I've seen many posts on Instagram of people with with the, with the chiclet teeth who have been to Turkey, had them, and then they've dropped out, and then they're going. Hang, 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 hang. They're, they're, yeah. It, you know, but if you haven't done this in this, uh, this country, that's how they have to value. Yeah, that's how they do it anyway. It, but you know, I think people think I'm getting a cheaper deal, which you are. But you know what they say? But in the long term, pay cheap, pay twice. Indeed, mm. and that's all from the bus this week. Thank you very much, Mike. I'm going to cancel my trip to Turkey to have my penis enlarged. Mm. Oh, maybe because you can't buy a big enough hat. A pleasure as always. But coming up after this short break, Lee brings us the showbiz news. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. Shock you that. <laughs> I have got after the strand of something on my tablet. It's a wig. And I'm... Wig hair. Wig hair is falling off you. I'm not wearing a wig today. Mm. We'll shower more. Okay. Are you a fan of Miriam Margolois? Love Miriam Margolois. 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 Well, she has made her her Vogue cover debut at the age of 82. Oh, on the cover of a magazine? On the cover Vogue. of a magazine, Vogue. 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 Um, there, there's, the, there's the cover of it. Um, oh. um, and she's kind of like talking about her life. Mm -hmm. um, she's saying that she wouldn't want to be straight for anything. Um, so she's posed for she says she posed for vibrant photos and discussed the joy she felt in her sexuality, mm -hmm. um, saying she's never had any shame about it. So there she is. I don't know what she's got on her head. That uh, would be a hat. Is it a hat? I want to say it's a, a Philip Tracy hat. Okay. I know fashion. Um, uh, so she said. So she goes on in the interview to say that gay people are very lucky because we're not conventional. Mm -hmm. She says she's known for TV and film roles and her candor in her interviews. Came out as a lesbian in 1966, mm -hmm. um, which at the time was when all homosexuality was, was illegal. Yeah. Um, she's also lived through the HIV crisis mm -hmm. in the 80s and lost 34 friends. Um, she's Oh, she's got some nice buns there. Yeah. So she's, yeah. So can't the girls reference that? Yeah, I think that's kind of the vibe that they were going for in the photo there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, she said that she's never had any shame about being gay because she knew it wasn't criminal because it was me. Mm -hmm. so the only kind of regret that she has is telling her parents that she was gay. Um, she said because that hurt them and I don't didn't want to hurt them. So yeah, so she's 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 been in all sorts of stuff. She's been in Blackadder, mm -hmm. Vanity Fair, Harry Potter. Love doing Black she's Adder. done a lot of kind of travel series with Alan Cummings. That's quite funny I, to watch. I think that's right. When she eats an onion. Yeah, and she pisses in the sea. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, she's definitely of that age of going no f**ks given. I, I don't think she's ever given. No, but it's ever. that she's now at that age where she can get away with it. Mm, she's sometimes she crosses the line a little bit mm -hmm. and says things that you think oh, she shouldn't really have said that and kind of use it. Well, I'm old. That's cause sometimes old people use it as an excuse, just kind of say things that aren't very appropriate. Um, but you know, she's good. So she's so she's she she says everyone's so insecure, people are frightened such a lot of the time. And what I've always tried to do is make people feel good about themselves. So yeah, she's on the cover of Vogue with a man's out. Not on the cover of Vogue with a man's out. She's in the co she's in Vogue with a man's out. Now I'm just eighty two. You said eighty two. Eighty two. Yes. And those boobs were not as saggy as they potentially could have been. I don't know anything about boobs, so I don't know how sucky they're supposed to be. What are you, what are you looking down there for? They're your boobs. <laughs> Rude. Anyway, they're, they're, they're not as 
they're, they're still quite up for boobs. They probably had two people underneath holding two. one each. <laughs> <laughs> to kind of hoist them. Um, she's So she's in this, this um, month's copy of Vogue, mm -hmm. copy, edition of Vogue, which is their LGBTQ plus pioneers. Also, Nakuti Gatwa, who's going to be in... Doctor, Doctor Who, Who, and you're not like we're not allowed to mention it because you don't want any spoilers. Mm -hmm. um, and Emma Darcy, so that's good. So check it out if you want to look at old ladies' breasts. Um, <laughs> and why not? There's a niche for everyone. There's a niche thing for everyone. And for everyone, a niche. What about Luke Evans? How, how are we a fan of Luke Evans, the actor yeah. slash performer slash singer? I don't, do, do I find him attractive? Do you do you do, are you a fan of his work? I'm not sure who he is. Luke Evans, he was he played Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Yes. yes. Smash. Um so there, there he is. That's him, yes. So there he is with Willie Porter. So he's in um his first ever gay role in a film. Okay. So although he's he's an out gay man, mm -hmm. he's never actually Is he single? No, he's not, oh. unfortunately. So yeah, so he's in he's Next it's story. A, it's his <laughs> <laughs> his first role to reflect his queer, authentic self. Wonderful. So he's, Next he's, story. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> mate. We're going to have to cover it. You might like his boyfriend. You might want to have a throuple. Um, okay. So it's the, the, the film is called Our Son, and it follows Nikki and Gabriel, played by uh, Luke and Billy, mm -hmm. who are a married couple uh, who are in a bitter custody battle over their eight-year-old son as they inch towards divorce. So there's a, there's a still from the film. Um, so he's kind of been in loads of different things. Beauty and the Beast, loads and loads of other blockbusters, but he's never actually paid a, a played a gay character so he said what he's saying is that he's been ready to do that for ages and ages but the right story until this came up hasn't there's not been a, a story that's been good enough um so he's kind of like saying he, he went on to kind of like say that people didn't assume that he was gay even though he's never kept it he's never hidden it so when he had when he was kind of like saying well i'm gay people were always quite shocked Apparently he's in a relationship, well not apparently, he is in a relationship um, with his boyfriend Fran Thomas, who is a, a graphic designer from Spain. He's okay. He's okay. Mm, okay. He's never dressed up as Gaston, though. Very particular thing there. Would you like that? Mm. Would you like that? He says, my personal life just became the last thing that I had to focus on. Also, what was really strange was that when people did find out that I was gay, there was a lot of articles and stuff saying how I was hiding it. And he said, I wasn't. Um, you don't have to be gay to enjoy the story of the film that he's in. Mm -hmm. um, families break up all the time, but this is a story of hope and how they get through it and how a new chapter is started, but a different kind. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. It's nice. He also sings... Has he? Yeah, he's got a couple of albums out of covers. He covered a share song. So he sings. He sings. He's an out gay man. Yes. And yet we still had to put up with James Corden playing the gay man in that high school musical -y thing. You've got to let it go, Mike. I don't have to let it go. It's, never, it's nothing that's going to change. He, he, they might have offered it him and he was like, I don't want it. It's not for, not for me. Rude. Rude. Oh, okay. Let's move on to something other. Now, yes. I can see how you might find this gentleman attractive okay dave batista do we know him do i know him do you know him he used to be a wwe heavyweight uh, champion yes yeah mm -hmm. and then he's kind of done gone down the rock route and he's a is mm -hmm. an actor yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. guardians of the galaxy june yeah, yeah. blah blah blah. we've got some of his um characters here i know none of them um I think that one there is from the latest film that he's in, uh -huh. Knock at the Door or Knock on the Cabin, which is about a gay couple and these people turn up and say, you've got to kill what? You've got to kill somebody yeah. to, for the blah, blah, blah. Um, so he is... Um, can you associate him with being kind of this quite a tough, hard, blokey <laughs> character type? Quite, <laughs> quite macho. Uh -huh. um, however, he he's just shared um, some posts on Instagram celebrating Pride season that we just had, wearing a T-shirt emblazoned oh with um, the rainbow slogan, Be You, obviously with his, with his chesticles displayed. Um, and... In particular, he took the, the opportunity to, to speak about his mother, uh -huh. um, Donna Ray, who is an openly gay woman, um, okay. who he's he says... So he's not gay, okay. but his, his mum is. is gay. Okay. Um, so he, he posted on Instagram saying that he um, wants to, to 
thank her for teaching him everything that he needs to know about living loud and proud. Mm. And if anyone's taking issue with that, um, he has some choice words for them. So he says, I was always proud of who my mum was because she was always proud of who she was. He wrote, in your face, f you, if you don't like it, unapologetically loud and proud. And her son paid attention. Be loud, be proud, be you. Um, wearing, wearing a very tight yellow top. Yes. And that, there he is with his mum. Uh -huh. who, lo who looks a little bit like Thor G. Thor. Do you not think? Because she's got hair. It's just kind of just a little bit reminiscent. A lot of hair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he what he did was, um, when he kind of like hit the big time uh -huh. and made, started making him his money, he ended up to buy his mum a house in her dream neighbourhood in San Francisco. Oh, Which was really that's kind. Cute. And I'm quite I was quite surprised because I don't really do the films that he's in, not, not really my you. genre. No. Um Guardians so, of the Galaxy's not Not for no. me. No. You have to think about them, don't you? And what's going on there? No, it's just like they're just like candy floss. They're just, you know, they're, they're there was one with him being in the zombies. We're in the zombies. In the um in the, in the not inside <laughs> the zombies, Las Vegas. There was something about zombies. I watched that and I was like, oh okay. Mm. But good for him, and good for him for bigging up his mother. Yeah, it's, it's good that he's, he's celebrating his, his parents and stuff, and yeah. the fact that she's an out, out and proud lesbian. I think she's always been an out and proud lesbian. Yeah, but it's still celebrating mm. him yeah. and saying, look, you don't have to be gay. It's being an ally, I believe the phrase is. An ally. An ally. An ally, yes. Ally, yes. Would you want him to sit on your face? No. No? Would you no. like to sit on his face? Yes. Uh oh, there you go. I'd, talk, I'd, I'd play Father Christmas. I sit on his lap and talk about the first thing that popped up. Oh, okay. Well, there that offer goes out. That goes out a lot. <laughs> goes out a lot. <laughs> to be fair, fresh good Instagram and tag him in. What makes you think I haven't already? Oh, okay. Eh, just saying. Well, um, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. On okay. that uncomfortable moment. <laughs> sitting on something uncomfortable. Well, thank you, Lee. Stick around as coming up, we have a quiz for Lee in our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play a game of Lazy Susan's Question Roulette. And this one is for our favourite pearl necklace wearer, Lee. It's very fashionable though. I, I meant as in pearl necklace. <sighs> Disgusting. Game of the Week. So Lee's going to spin the Lazy Susan and it's going to come up on a, a topic called Hum That Tune, and then it's going to have to hum that tune. You ready, Lee? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, you want me to spin it as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that would be helpful. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, soundtracks. Oh, soundtracks. Uh, let's find that. Okay. Who wrote You've Got a Friend in Me? <laughs> <laughs> for, for, David Pic <laughs> for Pixar's Toy Story. Debbie does Dallas. No, that's not a that's not a songwriter. Okay. Um, you got a friend in me. I know the song. Okay. I'm going to say Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. <laughs> it wasn't. It was somebody called Randy Newman. Oh, Randy. 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 Yeah. So off. Randy Newman. Newman. Um, let me find the profile. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's got on soundtracks again. Yeah. Okay. Holding Out for a Hero by Bonnie Tyler featured on which movie soundtrack? Rocky. No, my no. No. Very famous. Very famous? Yeah, I think. Think. Um, Never ending story. No. Ah. Think, ah, think ah. Kevin Bacon. Mm, Kevin Bacon. I like bacon. In his early days. Footloose. It was! Yeah! Yeah! Let's spin it around. Kevin Bacon movie, I know. So. Rock and pop. Rock and pop. Rock and pop. Rock and pop. Ooh, you get back in there, you naughty girl. You're not allowed out yet. It's not your turn. Um, okay. 
released in two. Are you okay, Lee? What? What just happened there? Just another card came out, but get it wasn't... back in there, you naughty girl. <laughs> it's not your time to come it wasn't, out. Yet. It wasn't her turn. Um, so, released in 2001, mm. what was Jennifer Lopez's first UK number one single? Jenny from the Block. No. The one with Ella Cool J. No, it was not that. No, I didn't. It was. My love don't cost a thing, 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 thing. Dance breakdown. That wasn't the title. I was just kind of doing the. Okay, you were just having a breakdown. I can believe it. Oh, rock and pop again. Now it's your turn. Now you can come out now. Okay. Which rock band's guitarist is known for his schoolboy uniform stage outfits? Ooh. What noise just came out of your face then? I don't like it. I don't like the schoolboy outfit. I find it a bit weird. Okay. Um, is it one of the Red Hot Chili Peppers? No. Marty Pello. <laughs> yes, Marty Pello <laughs> of Wet 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 spent the majority of their heyday dressed as a schoolboy. <laughs> is it Simon Le Bon? Is it Simon Le Bon? <laughs> no, it isn't Simon Le Bon. Is it Kanji Gugu? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what's his face that does the thing with the thing in the song? I don't know any of their songs. <laughs> They're like a hard rock act. Oh, hard rock act? Yeah. Oh, so it's From not back in the day. Then. Some people, it, and, and uh, the name of the name of the band is a very old term for if you were bisexual. Ack duck. Huh? Ack duck. Yes, ACDC. Yeah. Marty Pello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Angus Young. Um, he was the, he's the little frizzy haired dude that wears the, the schoolboy school outfit. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Yeah, right. Let's spin it. I like Janet Cranky, really. Exactly, like Jeanette Cranky. Oh my God, it's rock and pop. Oh. These want to be heard today. Which song marked the 2019 comeback for the Jonas Brothers? Don't leave me this way. By the Jonas Brothers. Don't leave me this way. Oh. No, that was the Communards back in 1980 something. Okay. I don't know this song. I'm aware of the Jonas Brothers. From the I, time you've been pulling your badge over them. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I love the denial there. Uh, I don't know. Recently, there was a thing on, on, on the internet with them in very salacious outfits mm -hmm. on stage, but it was AI created. Uh, Were you angry by that? I still cracked one out, even though it wasn't real. Um, do we know? No. Apparently, it was called Sucker. Well, I'm a sucker for you to be Is that what it was? That one, yeah. Oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> I don't know any Jonas Brothers song. Pom poms. Huh? Yeah. Pom poms. Oh, they sound good dog. <gasps> what is the matter with it today? The psychic powers just want it to be rock and pop. Okay. Which singer had a top 10 UK hit in 2011 with Born to Die? Britney Spears. Who? Britney Spears. No. She, she, she's, she, she's got into a little bit of flack recently about her performance at... Um, Caroline Flack. At... Um, what's that big field with uh, the... Bastonbury? State? Yes. Um, for turning up very, very late, and then they turned a the microphone off, and she said it took a long time to do my hair. Okay. Did we don't know her? No idea. With Lana Del Rey. Uh, Wouldn't know her if I fell over her. Was she, did she not do the one about putting the records on? No, that was... Yeah, put your records yeah. on. No, it wasn't her. That was, that was Billy Ray Cyrus. No, it wasn't. Billy Ray Martin, no. Something. Some Billy okay. Ray something, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. You're not going to believe this, Mike. It's rock and pop. Ooh, it's almost like that wheel's been broken again. Yeah. 
Who had a hit with Bleeding Love in 2007? Leona, I've just gone away and had a knee operation. My nose has had a change of shape and my boobs have got bigger. Lewis. <laughs> Is that what's happened? And you you're not correct. Know, so she, she, was it she won the X Factor's got the you know what's it factor thing. Yes. Right? She went and had a knee operation. She came back and nose was a different shape and she had bigger breasts. That's the side effect of having knee surgery. Is but, it? Yeah, I thought you uh, knew that. No. Mm-hmm. OK. Are you going to land on a different one? Are you going to land on a different one? Now, it's in the middle, Mike, between soundtracks, soundtracks and rock and pop. It's soundtracks, then. OK. Which Britney Spears song does James Franco's character sing in Spring Breakers? That's a very niche question. Hit me isn't baby it? one more time. No. Lucky. No. I love rock and roll. No. Crazy. No. Me against the music. No. More of a down tempo Britney track. Think bathtubs. Think. Think. Not so happy endings. <laughs> think. Tell me to give it a flick before they come. Uh, think. Um, yeah. Bathtubs, not happy endings. Yeah. I want to dance with somebody. <laughs> no, that that was a, that was an unpleasant thing to say, Mike. Um, <laughs> what? You know what you were doing. It was every time. Every time I fall. Do, 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 <laughs> be, do, uh, do. Yeah, that one. You know, she died in the bath, innit? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Right, okay, well, after this break, it's time for Lee to teach us all a way of making something a little bit shite. As we all tacky and crafty queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to set your expectations really high, as we want you to be disappointed. It's Crafty Queens. I've decided to go a little bit left field this week, Mike. Okay. And I have bought something, which is apparently all the rage with the kids. To buy things? Yeah, yeah to buy things to make things from the things they've bought. Um, okay. Tiny things, tiny food in tiny containers is apparently all the rage. All right, okay. So I have purchased one each for us. So before you, you will have a, a spherical... I have an orb. An orb, an that, orb. That, it, that should be full of lots of little packets. Okay, I see. Would you like to, would you like to open them up and see what you see? It's a very satisfying moment when you open up. As it, as it goes, boop. It just does that. So, Apparently... To get them with Kinder Eggs as well. Remember Kinder Eggs, you say? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. They don't do it anymore because of the hinges. They still do Kinder Eggs. No, but they've got hinges on now. Oh. The there are some instructions, which is always good. OK. Um, which we shall loosely follow. Do we have the same thing each? I don't know. You see, that is the magic. Oh. We don't know. that It could be any of them. That it, that it could be a tiny a tiny lime refresher, or it could be a tiny lemonade, or it could be... Lemonade? A lemonade. It could be a tiny mocha. Cafe mocha. We don't know, Mike. That's 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 what the kids like. They like to be enthralled and and um, I'm just <laughs> just caught sight of the my tabard um, ranty ranty, um, ranty, ranty queef. queef. Why is that ranty queef? I don't know. I think somebody from the gallery has been getting misbehaving. I'm going to have to take so. it home and reapplique um, today. So. What we have to do is um, open all these little packets and um, um, create this thing. So, and it actually, the real it's real stuff inside. Okay, so I have to open up all this plastic. Yeah, I would open that. There's a tiny pair of tweezers. Uh huh. Oh, they're cute, and a little stoppery thing. I don't know what that's for. A little little cuppy thing. Beep, 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 beep. I have a little. Um, so, oh, I've got some glaze. I think I might be making a tiny donut. <laughs> um, <laughs> or a bukkake. Um, 
So yeah, just open them up. Ooh, little packets of things. I've literally just opened up a plastic packet. Yeah. And inside it was a plastic packet. Oh, that's the magic. So there's a lot of, lots of packaging here, Lee. Really. Well, yeah, that is the downside. And this is this is only the, what we've got now. I had to um, unpackage the wrapping from the orb first, which was very excessive. Oh, I've got a latte, apparently. I've got a tiny little tray. A latte. A latte. Yeah. So I think that once you've kind of worked out... They've the got thing... things written on the packets as well, like, have a super day. Have a... Oh, I've got sprinkles. Oh, my God, a tiny little bottle of sprinkles. I do like small things. I thought I have a touch of whipped cream. <laughs> I think I may have, looking at the instructions, uh -huh. I think I've got some tiny donuts. Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh my god, that is so cute. What have you got, Mike? I've got a latte. A tiny latte? Yeah. Okay, so what I think you do is you... Um, follow the instructions, apparently. Follow the instructions of how to make them. Look, I've got a tiny little bo box. Shall, <laughs> shall we... <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> <gasps> lots and lots of wrapping and everything. Oh my god, tiny little donuts! What does that 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 looks very familiar? <laughs> no, <laughs> does it really? Yeah. No, they're made out of plastic. Don't do that at home, please. Don't I thought try and eat. You said these were edibles. They're not edibles. Um, so I think for mine, it, mine's quite straightforward. I've got my Are you little. Sure these aren't edible because this has got everything that I'd expect for it to be edible. It's got the little, you know, the thing that they get on the top of milk that stops you getting into the milk. Yeah, but I think that's the whole purpose is to make it hyper realistic. <sighs> yeah, because I can't get into it, so it's just like the thing you put on top of milk. Yeah, you can't eat them, Mike. They're not edible. Then why am I doing this? Because it's cute. This is cute, is it? If swallowed, wash out mouth and drink fresh water. Do not induce vomiting. Seek immediate medical advice. Um, so don't eat them, please. Um, I can't so, get into this. You can't get into it. No, because the little tabby things come off. One second. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I've got a little. What's the matter, Mike? I'm just getting a knife. Well, pair of scissors to cut into the. Ooh. We don't approve of that on Crafty Queen stabbing something with a blade. All right, so apparently this is going to I just pour this in now. I've, I'm opening the... I'm opening the... Um... Oh, go on, go on, this is it. me pouring it in. I'm, I'm, oh, my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's not doing anything. Squeeze it, Mike. Say, oh, poo-poo. Poo-poo -poo caca. It looks like that. I'm sorry. Come on, pour out your cup of your I'm trying to. Cappuccino. You're saying kids enjoy this? Yeah. Which kids? All kids. What are you pouring in it now? I'm still trying to do the, the first. There we go. What does it smell of? <sighs> Disappointment. <laughs> what does it, what does that smell like? <laughs> Not, no. What, is it like a chemical -y smell? Oh, oh. <laughs> now put a little bit in your mouth. No, don't, because you, you read it out saying don't do it, right? <laughs> I need to take this off. So just ex just to explain to you, you've poured you poured your I've cup poured of the juice. fluid oh, into look a, at the a tiny cup. little cup. Look at the tiny little glass. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I've got to open up this more plastic to get the whipped cream out. Oh, you've got some whipped cream. Yeah. On top of a latte. Oh, that is that is well cute. So apparently, I have to use tweezers for this. Do it. Do it. Right. And that goes in there like that, with a straw. Oh! I wish we had a hamster and we could give it to it. Not, obviously not let it drink it or eat it. Because that would be dangerous. And we, we whipped cream's fallen in and flipped over and so now it's got mocha on the top of it. There we are. That's apparently... Is that it? That's it, isn't that exciting? Is there no nothing else? This is nothing else to go in along with it. Is there no like sprinkle, sprinkle? No, no. 
That's cute. So that was yours. So yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have a little, I have a little um, teeny tiny bottle of um, Cheers. <laughs> glaze, um, which I shall open. Okay. Oh, it has a little thing on the top, a little. Yeah. Now, good luck with that, because that's the thing that thwarted me. I'm gonna stab it with my little um, tweezers. Oh. Did that work? No. No. How do I get in it, Mike? You don't prove no, it. I'm, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm peeling it off. Oh. Yeah, did it fail by any chance? Yeah. Yeah, did that with me at all. Oh no, how am I going to get in? It's not actual coffee. Is it actual coffee? In my coffee cup it is. Like in tiny plastic. So much plastic waste. All the turtles. All right, Greta Thunberg, wind in. I can't get in my juice. I can't get in my teeny tiny... Do you want me to throw these scissors at you? Yes, please. <laughs> ah, really? Do we throw a pair of scissors at you? Yeah. So I'm going to stab that. Oh, that did it very... Yeah, OK. And then... Oh, suddenly it's OK to stab things, is it? But I did it properly. So did I'm going to... Look, I put the little squidgy, squidgy widge on the top. <laughs> and then I've got my little donuts there. Do you want me to put them on the table to... To, um, to show us what you're doing here. Us. And then... Because you're I'm, shaky at the best of times. <gasps> glaze them, them. Yeah. with spunk. Oh, I, that... I just got an image of the cock destroyers in my head. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, it's not a lot. Just a teaspoonful. <laughs> Oh. oh, so right. Okay, so I've I've glazed them, uh -huh. and now I've got a teeny tiny bottle of sprinkles, and I'm just gonna go. Boop, boop, boop. Oh my god, that is well cute. Look, can you see my teeny tiny donuts? That reminds me of a weekend I had once. Oh, I'm well. I know you. I know you're not happy with it, Mike. You're not impressed. But this is the kind of shit that gets me hard. <laughs> I think generally that's a big success for me, not necessarily for you. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go by hamster, and um... show up your ass. <laughs> I'll be getting. Yeah. Well, do remember, if you can't get any vagin or peen or the other way around, is it peen and vagin or vagin and peen? I'm very excited by my tiny donut, so it's all gone out of the thing. Remember to be, what is it? <laughs> A ranty queef. <laughs> Would you like some sprinkles on your cappuccino? It's a latte. In your latte. Would no, you like some? You. Can I, can I though? No. Please. No. Please, I want to. But it's not, it's not yours, this is mine. Yeah, but it would look nicer. I don't care. This is how I want it. I don't like you. That's OK. You obviously don't like me because you, you just made me do. It's me. Anyway, that's Crack almost the, the end quits. of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching. I apologise. And we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. I'm going to drink it to take the pain away. Drink on. Drink on.